photography from Oakland, Wisconsin, USA. I want to show you my experience using the Sony A9 and Canon lenses. As you can see, you got a different option for focus here, such as white, center, and flexible spot. I use the large, you got a small, medium, and large. And this time I show you the some global shooting I have with the camera. I need 20 frames per second in this particular case with Canon. They said that you cannot get obtain the 20, but I think that was very close. They claim that it's only with native E mount that you can get the 20. The problem is that I feel the buffer right away and then I want to pre press the record button and I was unable to record any video because the SD just filling with the buffer. Now I'm going to show you the different options that this camera has, such as using the Wi-Fi from shooting using your iPhone. You can see the eagle is at the top of the nest. Excuse me, the, the nest is at the top of the tree. At this time, I'm using my iPhone. I am able to change all of the settings from my camera, including the aperture, I can focus with my fingers such as touch. The only disadvantage is that the photo that is going to be is going to be JPEG. As you can see my camera is around 50 yards from my car. The nest is at the top of the tree. And it's beneficial because you are hiding in the car, the ear cannot see you you can still get in a good shot and good photos also there is a lot of mosquitoes outside and the weather was bad so i was more comfortable in my car with my different options it was already getting dark close to the sunset as you can see i was able to change the setting from my camera from my car going down in the aperture priority to f5.6 because it's getting very dark outside. Now I'm going to show you some problems that I have also when I, I was using a joystick. You need to be gently because if you press too fast you have an error. Here's the sunshot, the another nest I went and it was before a sunny day and the beautiful the, the photos are beautiful the details is amazing if you can get the focus right away the, this camera can track in the belt very easy and you cast excellent shots as you can see especially in go to the left to the right it's very easy for the camera but also it has a chat that the eagle was coming to me and he was able to keep the focus and this is very difficult for any other camera or lenses. It's, uh, the details I was very happy uh, with the results. I think that more than I was expecting. I think because of the speed of this camera I have more keepers. We are using the Sony A9 and using the Canon. But of course you need to have the focus done first. And this is a question of practice and practice and practice. I got this camera only for one day but I used Sony before with the A6500 so we kind of similar. The another advantage that you have is with this camera you can focus auto focus with an F9, F10. I seen another camera that can do that more than F8 if I am correct. So the more F you have more sharpness and more deep of feel and your quality is going to be very good, everything is sharp. Not only the the head of the belt but all of the belt in general. The at this time you can see in this time the eagle is coming to me and it's able to keep the focus there although this is very difficult the quality is excellent
everything sharp are able to blow out. This is the error that I had when I was pressing the joystick too deep. I didn't know until just playing with the camera and I was doing left and right more gently and you do not have the error. The buttons I think are they are very small and easy to commit error with that. Also I disable the touch screen because the viewfinder is in the center of the camera so when I was getting close I was touching with my nose and change the focus area. This is another set another day also the quality again is excellent. I'm very happy about the result from wildlife photography with uh, especially with the bald eagles. I did some uh, shoot also using the small bird that you're going to see at the end of this video and I was happy to see that you're able to keep the focus uh, with the small bird as well. It was a sunny day, you got the shadows, but still you're able to get the good photos. So the result are actually they are better than I was expecting. Um, they are better than my Sony A6500 too because of the quality. This is a full frame camera. And you're going to let you just enjoy the photos as I enjoy when I took it. It's jumping, it's jumping. It is an F10 at least, and you can get everything very sharp. I have probably I don't know how many photo thousand, and I just use a few for them because this camera is so fast. I will show you later in another video that some photos catching fish too. That was very good although it was a little shiny because the weather was terrible. Uh, low light is not as good as I was expecting with this camera though. Um, I s there's a mixed re review about that. I know that Sony are coming with a new Prime Lens 400 soon in the summer and this could be great. I know I'm going to have more and more photos to able to obtain. Let me see I just showing again by error this video with the same problem that I have if you play the joystick and also the other buttons the record button is very close to the AF focus so most of the wildlife photography is using that so you can press record instead of autofocus this is a small bell it's very fast but you're able to if you are able to get focus at the beginning, you're going to have a lot of nice shots. It's amazing. This is difficult to obtain with my Canon 1DX to keep this bird on focus at this high speed. This camera, if you get it at the beginning, you are fine. But you also are going to have many misses shots. I hope that it helps. If you like it, uh, subscribe. Thank you.